This is part 5 of Calibrating Your 3D Printer, Extruder E-Steps Calibration. So we're back here at the Teaching Tech website, and this is probably the second most important thing when it comes to calibrating your 3D printer. The first is definitely got to be having your bed plate in the perfect parallel plane to your nozzle plane. But then comes the E-Steps, and this is how your 3D printer knows how much filament is actually being extruded. So we're going to need Proner Face, and we're going to send an M503 command to find out what our current E-Steps are. And then we're going to mark 120 millimeters on our filament with a Sharpie. So you're going to need a Sharpie, some sort of measurement device. Uh, I'm going to be using calipers. You could also use a ruler. The more accurate your measurement is, the more accurate your E-Steps calibration is going to be. So with that said... Let's get started. We are here in Pronterface and we have our 3D printer connected and online. So what I have is a Sharpie as well as my pair of calipers. I'm set at basically 120 millimeters and I'm going to come in with my Sharpie and measure And mark 120 millimeters. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my hot end and extrude that 100 millimeters. So we marked 120. We need the extra room of 20 millimeters. Number one, the calculator is set up for that on Teaching Tech's website. But also, in case we're over extruding, if we just marked 100, it would actually be inside of the extruder. So that's why we mark 120. So once again in Proner Face we can double click the temperature. We are now up to temperature at 200 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to change the length. I want to extrude to 100 millimeters. And let's go ahead and hit the extrude button. So it says extruding 100 millimeters of filament. And it's doing that at a speed of 100 millimeters per minute. So now that we have extruded our 100 millimeters of filament, we need to measure and find out how much we have left. So let's go ahead and take our calipers, zero them out. And I've got 21.09. So the other value I need to find out is I need to run an M503 command and see what my E-Steps value is. So, we'll scroll up to where we sent our M503, and let's scroll down here. And our, right now our E-Steps located right here is 97.14. Yours is probably going to be different. So I'm going to put in 97.14. I'm going to put in my 21.09. Calculate. Okay, so I need to change my E-steps to 98.91. So let's go ahead and copy and paste. Your value is going to be different. Copy and paste that line of code. Come back into Pronter Face. Paste it. Send it. Now we need to follow that up with an M500 to save it to our EE Prom. Once again, you need to have your SD card if you have an Ender 3 V2 inside of your machine. That's what you're actually saving to. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to run this same test again and see how close we get to 100 millimeters of extrusion. This time I was about 20.03 millimeters left, so that's really close. It's definitely within the measurement error of a Sharpie. 
So we're gonna say that's good. But I do wanna show you, this is once again an iterative process. You do this over and over again until you get a value that to you is acceptable. So I've messed up before doing this. So you wanna make sure that we would take our value, go back to Teaching Tech's website, and right here, sometimes I've just put this new value, so I just went ahead and put 20.03, okay? And then I hit calculate. But see, this is wrong. So I need to put the 98.21, this value that I already sent to it, because the calculation is off. So I need to put 98.21. And it changes it by 0.03. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it alone because that's really close. So what you would do, though, is you would copy and paste this, go back into Proner Face, and put it right here, and always make sure you run that M500 command. So now your E-steps are properly calibrated.